I thought Scorsese directed. I was like, that was, it was that good. It was that good. <laughs> it was a cinematic masterpiece. I swear it's the new Citizen Kane. I think I, someone shit their pants next to me during the screening. I shit my pants. <laughs> that happened. I was, that was me. I've been a fan of this guy's work for a long time and I've just been trying to find the right avenue that we can play because what you're about to see is something unlike anything you've ever seen if you've never seen any movie made by Bill Zabub. Uh, but I love it and I can't tell you why. No, I'm making this sound bad. Um, you guys are about to have a whole lot of fun. I want to introduce the enigma that is Bill Zabub. Has anyone heard of Bill Zabub? Yeah! Has anyone not heard of Bill Zabub? <laughs> I'm going to pass the microphone to people you actually want to look at. I ended a sentence in a preposition. Don't do that. It's unprofessional. Who is not being here tomorrow? It's for you. <laughs> All these actresses are going to sign the DVD outside of the screen room. We're gonna have a question and answer period before the movie, so pretend that you have seen the movie and ask questions of the actresses before the movie plays, because I don't think any of you will stay here after five minutes. <laughs> so, who here hates Jews? <laughs> The reason I ask is that the word Holocaust has freaked some people out, and in this movie, I make fun of Nazis and nobody else. Yeah. Usually, I make fun of everything else. I've run, of, I've run out of people who ridicule. <laughs> so what is the end word? Nazi. Nazi. All right. At Horrorhound, they say Nazi. The, the thing is, I have to say, Horrorhound is a family horror convention, and I make dysfunctional family movies. <laughs> so he might have been confused. I've been banned from some stores because the movie has the word Holocaust in it. Does anyone think that this movie is racist or anti-Semitic? No. no. Would you like it to be because we could edit it before? Because <laughs> I talk a lot. We have enough time to re-edit the movie. Well, the people that would uh, see the name Holocaust in the movie and immediately condemn it, I would say they're probably not the audience for this movie. Uh, they probably don't have much of a sense of humor when it comes to stuff that might be a little bit politically incorrect, and it's probably not for them. But for everybody else, it's a good time. I'm going to put this microphone on the floor. And I want the hottest girl in the movie to pick it up first. <laughs> Any questions? Raise your hand. Anyone? This, this guy right oh. here. So, so I heard... Wait, 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 wait! So, this was your first penetration scene in the movie. How was that for you? Uh, I did not see that coming. <laughs> body casting the first day I ever shot with Bill Zabub. It took like four hours. And the funny thing is, is that I get to take that all the way home to Colorado with me in a car, a dismembered body. So my first penetration scene was very bloody. It's very hard um, to cast actresses for this movie. And if you heard that I have sex with my actresses, it's true. And would you like to tell people how good I was in bed? Why do I get to do that for my question? Is that just because I'm French, is it? We were told that she's not allowed to go by the name Misty Monday. So please, when I put the microphone in your mouth, please say, hey, Misty Monday. Yeah, please. Raise your hand for a question. Anyone? Obviously, you're the king of the porno genre. And I'm, I'm, I'm curious about Dick Shark. The reason why Monday no longer goes to that name is she had surgery and she now has a penis. <laughs> Although I thought it was a penis because her clitoris is bigger than my penis. It's not, it's actually really tiny. 
His penis or your clitoris? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know about his penis. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what else? So, who has an ant coming out of assorted uh, orifices in this movie? Wrong movie. Wrong movie. <laughs> and be vocal. And just remember, because it's 18 and over, you can masturbate, right? <laughs> Nathan Rum Rumbler has done that before in Cinema Wasteland. Yes, many times. All right, if you have explosive orgasms, please use a blanket. Otherwise, <laughs> it didn't bring mine. Can I put in the movie so I can go pee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, la, 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 la. Okay. I was wanting to sing it for you. That's the movie. What, what's going on here? Turn off the lights. <laughs> I loved it. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. It was very funny. It was also very uh, raw and and uh, just what I expected from a Bill Zabub movie, I guess. Just like you knew you knew what you were getting. It was going to be a lot of fun. It is by far Bill Zabub's <laughs> best, and yeah, it's right right up there. One of the most offensive movies I've seen. I loved every minute of it. He had a couple of the, the, the weird rape scenes, but yeah, he needed a couple more dicks chopped off. It would have been really, really good for that. Like you know? Oh, the torture for him was that he was becoming uncircumcised. That was, yeah. that was really good. It was great, man. We loved had everything that we love about the uh, Bills Above movies uh, that we've enjoyed in the past. Uh, it had all the uh, nudity, all the social commentary, uh, all the graphic uh, violence in it and gore. And uh, it was just first rate. We loved it. Enjoyed it. Got a copy of it. And we'll enjoy it over and over again. I think Bills Above is awesome. That's what I think. <laughs> it was really great. Funny. It was nice and campy. Uh, deserve that sort of treatment, so what the hell? The sadism, uh, her enjoyment in killing these people was hilarious. The, the, her facial expressions. So it was a lot, a lot funnier than I expected, which was cool. I, uh, I mean, I'm already a fan of bad movies, so even if it was horrible, I was probably going to like it, but uh, it wasn't horrible, which was nice. As a woman, it was very funny. My one complaint, I saw real boobies, I didn't see, see real penis. Not one real penis in the whole film. You gotta change that, Bill. Uh, my favorite things about the movie, I would have to say it was probably the actresses. They seemed to be having a lot of fun and it showed, on the, it showed in the movie, um, as well as the awesome performance of the masked uh, German. He did a really fine job. It was, it was funny. It was a lot of fun to watch, and it looked like everybody there was having a good time doing it. I really dug the spider rape scene, um, and, and there was a, uh, a bouncing brain in front of the skull. I don't want to elaborate too much in case somebody hasn't watched the movie yet, but those were some very uh, standout images. Um, I'm amazing, and also, like, I will buy every DVD this guy makes after watching this. I actually have several already, but I will continue to buy. This guy's a talent. Support him. Favorite part? Well, there was a line that one of the chicks said. Like, she was like, uh, your confidence is just... It was earlier in the movie. Yeah! Your confidence masks your weakness. Something like that. It was a really good line. That and also, like, the dude, he was a Nazi. He was a Nazi. And then he was like, what did he say, honey? Oh my god, what was it? Uh, I'm high as a kike! Yes! That's what that. it was. I'm high as a kike. That is the million dollar line. High as a kike. Well, the nudity, of course, is pretty sweet. I mean, you know, it's fucking awesome. And the girls are hot, of course. Well, honestly, from what I, I heard about it, I expected it to be really terrible. But actually, it was good. I, I laughed, I had fun. And the DVD, so <laughs> there you go. My favorite part was was the uh, the commentary by uh, the, the Nazi officer with the uh, orange uh, uh, burnt face. Uh, that was always always my favorite parts of, of the movie. Uh, just uh, going deep into the meaning of life uh, over and over again and uh, pointing out nice little tidbits. Uh, that's that's what I enjoyed most about it. Oh, now that's a personal question. Um, probably the scene in the hut with the bondage. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs>
Uh, my favorite part is the scene I like to call Hans and Schwanz, where the guy had the penis in his mouth. Like, after he ate the apple, that was really hilarious. And, uh, I don't know, I also like the part where the, uh, where the girl was torturing the other girl, and, and it was actually a dude's hands reaching in and doing everything. That was really funny. Favorite parts of the movie? Oh, uh, I don't want to get into spoiler territory, but uh, I'd probably say the part where it's the slow motion chick fight. I got to meet some of the people that acted, and they were like amazing. Like, I mean, the good people. I mean, you're supporting good people. You're supporting Bill. He's a good person. These actresses, if you ever got to meet them, you would buy these like, oh. five times. I don't know if you have the balls to watch this kind of movie. I hope you do, because that's the kind of friends I want to keep. Like, it's almost like a tester, like a, a litmus test, a litmus friend test. Like, if you can watch this movie and be like, this shit is cool, then you're automatically in. Yeah. You're in. You're in. Was I surprised by anything in the movie? Um, no, not really. I don't think I was surprised by anything in the movie. I was, uh, I, it didn't follow any formula, I guess, but I wasn't surprised that anything that was in the movie was in it. Definitely Rachel Crow. Uh, they should, I, I think she might win an Oscar for this role. It's Erin Brown. Uh, I've been a fan of her work since before, and it was really nice seeing her in a movie again, and she was fantastic in it. So the chick that uh, who was in the movie who she walked out with a corpse on her shoulder earlier at the convention? Yeah. Great. She had a date for tonight. It definitely upped, it, upped the uh, yeah. production value of the gore did. Yeah. Yes. I love the, <laughs> the severed penis hitting the face in slow oh, motion. Oh, great. Probably one of my favorite parts that I saw. It was, that was awesome. It was amazing. The redhead. The hero. And also the Amazon. All of them. I don't have a favorite. I can't even pick one. You know why? Because I... Not even... I have two. One. I can't. I can't equally. Her and her. Her and her. I like the hero. I like the hero, too. I like her, the redhead. I, I like the redhead. I'm sorry, I do. Well, I'm glad you do, because I like the other two. My favorite cast member would probably be Rachel Crow. We actually bought some to give to our friends, and then if they don't like it, then I think they're off the list, and we'll delete them off. Yeah, I guess what? Delete, delete, uh, delete, block, delete, whatever. erase, 